Howdy, it is I, Junk, and I'm still fighting my uh, neuralgia, but it's been a minute since I've spoken to you, so I thought I would talk a little bit during this game here. We're dropping into Valley on Beacon Rush, and we're going to start with this Mercury build, because that's kind of what I was in the mood to play with. Very lucky we got a, a hybrid map, or, you know, a brawling map would have been good too, like Moon, but I would call Valley a hybrid map. You have some open spaces. You can get on those mounds and shoot for, for some distance, but you also have the center, and you've got some obstacles that give you some brawling ability. Uh, good choice on the anti-control module on my part right there. And not that they needed my help here, but Orochi versus Mercury is just a great matchup, so I wanted to be part of it, because... Uh, Normally you can't hit what you can't see, but if you hit everything around you, you can hit it pretty good. So there we are, we got our first kill 30 seconds in. And you're going to see later on that we've got another, maybe the last, because <laughs> it's it's the 31st of March, but we've got another no spend March uh, boycott breaker. Oh, a weather chicken. Weather chickens don't win beacon modes. I need to get that like recorded as a single. Because they really don't. They really don't. They're too fragile to really hold most beacons. Now, I've seen people who play them well. Don't get me wrong. But that's a... You can play a bad robot well. You can. But that doesn't mean it's not a bad robot for that situation. And, uh... <laughs> have to appreciate the uh, teammate who tried to kill steal me there right at the end. As someone who snaked a few myself, I, I don't have the moral authority to be too upset. But if I had any kind of integrity about kill stealing, I would be very upset. But so we got our first two kills, capped their home. Uh, that's a pretty good start. Heading back to center, and I am not, definitely not going to make it there in time to do anything about it. There is a matchup. There's another matchup I kind of like here when I get in here, which is this behemoth. You're going to see. Yeah. I kind of like this matchup, even though those hammers are absolutely scary. Since I've got the stealth and I've got the sonics, then I've got the advantage, I think, in that particular situation. Now we're going to get a preview here of the the clown of the day, <laughs> the guy from LOA, a clan that joined the boycott, and later we're going to see him use the titan weapons he couldn't have bought except during the boycott, and now we're watching him use the bugged ardent emoji. And this thing is so bugged, you're going to see when it goes up against an angler how bugged this thing is. I mean, this thing has, what, it's supposed to have the firepower of, like, a mender, <laughs> basically, slightly, slightly more than a mender, right? Two mediums and a, and a light, and it takes spears and a redeemer to the face. Redeemers are the highest DPS close-up weapons in the game. Highest burst DPS close-up weapons in the game. Yeah, not, not sustained, but and this thing just shrugs it off like I'm shooting at a fender. You see, this is like not only is it not doing damage in a minute, he starts healing because just it's not not enough of the spears are hitting. Now this this is the autopilot. Right? These spears should be about as broken as a spear is going to get in, it, in the current game, you know, in current year. Completely shrugs it off. So, now, imagine you join a boycott, you break the boycott, you use a robot you know is bugged, and then imagine what it would be like to lose that. And hold that thought for a minute. Sadly, my uh, angler here is not long for this world. Yeah. You saw that luchador? The clown changed the makeup, but that's the same clown. Using the weapons you could only buy during the boycott. I'm not going to talk all about I'm, I'll make another video talking about the boycott. There's a whole lot to say there, but... Long story short is... Oh, wait, stop. Moment of perfection. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> Double quantum radar on your Titan. It is... You're losing a lot of DPS, but it is so satisfying. <laughs> Just moments like that. What can you say other than there's... Uh, other than clip that, because that is perfection. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a lot to say about the boycott. The long story short is, I think, ultimately, it's been a good thing. It's done a lot of good things. It played out the way a lot of people told me it was going to play out, in that there was no way the clans were actually going to exhibit integrity long enough to get through it. <laughs> uh, and I want to be clear. I'm not saying police people and what they spend, but I am saying that if you join a boycott saying you're not going to spend, and then you run around using the weapons you said you weren't going to buy, that's a that's a level beyond choosing not to spend, right? Ooh, took down the Miramits there. Trying to get a, a couple shots here on the Minos, but now uh, our friend Bozo <laughs> is, is back with the uh, with the broken Sonic Shotgun of the Titan. So I can read the writing on the wall. We are not long for this wall. Also, I was locked in that position. I wasn't just choosing to, to float up there. So, 
it's looking a little dire, but we have some very good teammates. Let's not quite get too upset yet. And also, this is not the worst robot in the world. It's not the strongest one in the field right now because of the broken titans, but I've I've had worse robots. I mean, I've gotten killstreaks in Natasha on this map, right? So I'm not feeling so dire about it in this situation. But also, I'm looking around like there's really nowhere to go particularly. Wherever I go, they're going to shoot me in the back, right? I may as well stay on the beacon and have a couple more seconds with it. And at, th at this point, I'm starting to come to terms with the fact that I'm going to mech. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make it to the end of this game because the Ravana is the last sort of viable bot. I mean, I can stand up on that hill, but, you know, that, that behemoth is not going to live long at this stage of the game, I don't think. Fortunately, we had the luxurious advantage of the bots that dropped in here from the red team were actually slightly weaker than the Ravana. <laughs> and we had good team support, obviously, too. So that, that worked out for that particular beacon. But yeah, I think the boycott has been a good thing overall. We The, the, the long story short is that basically the top clans lasted to about 20 days. Some Around about March 20th, the dam broke. And it was really the time drop clans where it started. And with the time drop clans decided they weren't going to do it, the, and the other time drop clans said they weren't going to do it, and then once you started running into all these clans and using the weapons, the other top clan said, well, I'm not going to tank the clan's rating by not, by not using the weapons. Well, you know, I'm not here to judge anybody, and I'm not here to police anybody. My point isn't, like I said, it's, it's not, the, the problem isn't that they broke the boycott exactly, it's that they broke the boycott and flaunted it in a way that everybody, including Pixonic, would notice. I mean, Pixonic, you know, they... The only way they even try to check balance is, like, they check their spreadsheets and they say, Oh, nobody's using this weapon. Let's buff it. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, everybody's using the weapon now. So, they can see that the top clans that were not supposed to spend are spending. That said, it took them 20 days to do that. That's still an economic hit. So that's still value. Yeah, this Ravana has been an absolute hero. And these are very tough matchups that it's up against. I don't blame the Ravana at all. But, yeah, this is, uh... This is not promising, even as a two-on-one. And I'm looking at the beacon bar, and I'm looking at my situation, and I'm thinking, uh... 50-50, right? But I only have one robot left, and it's the Behemoth, and I... <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this matchup at all. You know, I don't choose to run the bugged, the bugged cruel angler, but I run an angler. That's a redeemer. That's a redeemer spear angler. I run that. I I know how this matchup is going to go, and it goes that way even faster than I expected. And here we are, fully mecked. But <laughs> as it turns out, it appears to be three on one. So I have the luxurious advantage of laying back here and just seeing how this plays out. And uh, the one looks like it's our friend, the clown. <laughs> so that was, uh, as I said earlier, imagine you run a bugged robot. You break, a, you break your, your clan's boycott to buy weapons and flaunt them and you still lose hmm and you still got out damaged by me in second place on my team i'm just saying i'm just saying make some changes but yeah it's it's you know what i said at the beginning is still true i hope everybody did what they thought was right in the way they thought was right do what makes sense to you in the way that makes sense to you so that was our game i hope you enjoyed it i hope uh you didn't mind hearing from me again. I didn't ruin it by talking over it. Um, my neuralgia is still in process, let's say. Still in process of being treated. Right now when I talk, it feels like someone's pulling out my mustache hairs, and that sounds unpleasant, but it's actually way more pleasant than being stabbed in the face with an electrified ice pick, which is what it was before I started trying medicines and trying to find a good combination. So keep your fingers crossed for me still. I'm still working it out. But hopefully you'll be hearing from me some more, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you are a dog or cat at home alone waiting for your parents, I'm sure you're a good puppy or kitty, and you're going to get a treat when they get home, and I will talk to you later.